Another new month is upon us, packed with tons of exciting game releases. But with so many to choose from, where should you even start? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and today we have a brand new episode of Cherry on Top. The show where I count down curated, themed collections of standout games. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the top 10 new games releasing in July that I think you should pay attention to. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Kicking off the list at number 10 is Weirdlets, a virtual pet game harmonizing relaxation and productivity. In this title, you will adopt a lovable little companion who you can pet, grab, feed, and play with both in-game and on your desktop. While you're going about your activities, your pet can dig for loot to unlock accessories, decorations, and snacks to keep them happy. As you collect all sorts of items, you can personalize your pet and its home to your taste. It also comes packaged with some useful productivity tools, like a Pomodoro timer, a notification system, and a to-do list for your convenience. Weirdlets will be releasing July 23rd on Steam as a free-to-play title. Next at number 9 is Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus, a colorful and hand-drawn 2.5D action platformer inspired by Japanese folklore. In this title, you play as a tiny celestial blossom on a mission to fulfill a mysterious ancient prophecy. Use your legendary bow staff to bounce and glide fluidly through an otherworldly realm of dreamlike landscapes, strange and adorable yokai, and massive monsters summoned from ancient legends of Japan. You can also mine valuable resources, harvest bizarre flora, and find relics along your adventures. Plus, you can brew and drink different teas to unlock Bo's shape-shifting staff abilities, like the Mochi Mallet and the Lotus Dash. This title is said to have tight platforming controls, atmospheric bells and whistles, and a gorgeous original score that blends traditional Japanese instrumentation with modern orchestral music. Bo Path of the Teal Lotus is releasing on July 18th on Steam, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch. Coming in at number 8 is Shim, a game about jumping from shadow to shadow in a relaxing yet lively environment. In this title, you play as a Shim, which is the soul and spirit of an object, thing, or living being. Everything in the world has one, but in the story of this game, you've become separated from your human counterpart and are now trying to find your way back to them. This 3D platformer blends elements of light, shadow, and animation to offer a unique gameplay experience within a beautiful abstract world. Each level has its own scenery to enjoy and stories to be told, and I just love this unique concept of hopping across shadows, which will likely present many creative methods of traversal, including some puzzle elements. Shim is releasing July 18th on Steam, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Next at number 7 is The Star Named Eos, a story-rich puzzle adventure designed around photography. In this title, you will get to explore a beautiful hand-drawn world as you photograph life's precious but fleeting moments. By recreating photos from the past, you will uncover the truth of a family mystery and the love found within fragmented memories. Discover puzzles and items hidden in the scenery, and enjoy a fully voice-acted experience to enhance your immersion into the world of the game. The Star Named Eos is releasing July 23rd on Steam, the Epic Game Store, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch. Coming in at number 6 is Flock a multiplayer co-op game about the joy of flight and collecting cute, quirky, flying creatures with your friends. In this title, you take on the role of a flying shepherd tending to your own unique herd of creatures, starting with hover sheep. This title is an ode to discovery as you explore the expansive world, uncovering secrets across the uplands and meeting its wild creatures. As you encounter these mysterious and odd but cute critters, you can charm them to join your flock. Plus, as your flock grows and your sheep get woollier, you can use the sheared wool to create hats, cardigans, and even socks. Find rare and elusive creatures, try to knit the longest scarf possible, or seek out hidden treasures. It's completely up to you. And remember, this can all be enjoyed with friends. Flock is releasing July 16th on Steam, PlayStation, 
and Xbox Game Pass. Then at number 5, we have Dungeons of Hinterburg, an action-adventure RPG set in a new tourist hotspot in the idyllic Austrian Alps. In this title, you play as Luisa, a burnt-out law trainee taking a break from her fast-paced corporate life to conquer the Dungeons of Hinterburg. Explore a wide variety of settings, snowboard down glaciers, zipline through forests, climb mountains, or slow things down and enjoy a lakeside coffee. Enjoy a creative combat system and solve a mixture of surprising and challenging puzzles with not just your mind, but also a touch of magic. When you'd like to take a break from the action, you can choose to spend your nights socializing with the locals, some of whom might be able to help you or even teach you new tricks. Dungeons of Hinterburg is releasing July 18th on Steam and Xbox. Coming in at number four is The Last Alchemist, a third-person simulation simulation game about the blazing pursuit of science and friendship in a world of superstition. In this title, you take on the role of the world's last alchemist as you craft your workshop from the ground up. Explore the colorful and enchanting landscapes rich in resources, peculiar plants, fungi, minerals, and of course, secrets. Certain materials you come across will require specific alchemic mixtures in order to be gathered, so you'll need to extract essences from everything you collect and fuse them together to solve alchemy puzzles. You will also share your laboratory with the Agari, a local civilization of sentient mushroom creatures who run both the economy and the machines you need to optimize production, so you'll have to work to earn their invaluable trust. The Last Alchemist releases on July 12th on Steam. Up next at number three is Magical Delicacy, a wholesome pixel art platformer with a focus on cooking. In this title, you play as Flora, who has arrived in a new bustling town to fulfill her dream of becoming a proper witch. Open up your own shop in this harbor town built upon cliffs and use dozens of ingredients to create magical dishes, either by following recipes or inventing your own creations. Then sell or deliver your potions, meals, teas, and pastries to friends and customers. Acquire new tools for your kitchen, unlock new rooms to expand, and even grow plants in your backyard to offer the full farm-to-table service. The beautiful town is packed with history to uncover, opportunities to improve your business, and new people to meet, including mysterious travelers, shop owners, forgotten legends, and masters of their craft. As you adventure, grow as a witch and acquire upgrades to your movement abilities to discover new routes and hard-to-reach places. Inspired by the Metroidvania genre and condensed into a cozy cooking game, Magical Delicacy releases July 16th on Steam, Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch. Next at number two is Flintlock The Siege of Dawn, an action-packed open-world RPG adventure where the future of humanity is in your hands. In this title, you play as Nor, who is accompanied by Enki, a fox-like companion on a quest to take down all the world's gods one by one. On your journey, Enki will share his knowledge of the world with you, plus he will imbue your combat skills and traversal abilities with his magical powers. This title offers a Souls Light experience, so if you're just branching out into trying new genres that may include heavier hitting games with combat, this might be a great option for you to try something new, and you can even play it on an easier difficulty to test the waters. I also love that we will be able to collect new outfits for Noor by visiting various coffee shops tucked away in Hamlet's around the world. I'm also really excited to forage for ingredients on our travels, explore the open worlds, and to be accompanied by a beautiful and adorable companion. Not to mention the fact that this title is being developed by an independent team, which is incredibly impressive. Flintlock The Siege of Dawn releases July 18th on Steam, the Epic Games Store, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. And finally, coming in at number one as the cherry on top of today's list is Ete. In this relaxing painting game, you get to step into the shoes of a budding painter who travels abroad for the summer, as the title would suggest, because Ete is French for summer. As you roam around peaceful, open city scenes in Montréal, you'll get to use gorgeous watercolor to paint the world in 3D and reveal its wonders. What's more is that everything you encounter as you explore will be added to your album of stamps, which you can use to mix and match in the artwork you create on canvases, 
with a variety of tools at your disposal. Characters who you meet in the world will also commission you to create specific and unique pieces of art for them, but you're also free to paint as many unrestricted pieces as you would like, which can be auctioned off at your local cafe or hung up around your apartment and studio. Even further, you can decorate, arrange, and customize this space just to your liking to make it feel like a true home. Befriend the locals, paint up a storm, or just take a moment to kick back and relax, admiring the beauty of the hand-brushed world around you. Ette is releasing July 23rd on Steam. Well, there you have it friends, those are my top 10 new games releasing in July. But what are yours? Let me know down in the comments, anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please go ahead and shine the lovely like button if you discovered a new title today or just enjoyed the video. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and until next time, take care.